Peace and greetings, everyone. I wanted to do a quick video on uh, progress of my prototype, which I'm going to show you in a second, of the ESP2 cybersecurity tool. So let's look at it. So in a previous video, I showed a breadboard um, prototype of what I was um, originally working on. And now we have just finished the uh, protoboard um, prototype. And these proto boards are pretty cool because then you can um, test things out before you get a official uh, PCB design. So let's go over the um, currently final design. And um, on the final design, the RFD module will be vertical, just to let you know. So we start off with the ESP32 uh, room 32e and this will be the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi brain of this whole thing and um, I chose this uh, because it has um, quite a bit of uh, processing speed um, and also um, BLE and um, Bluetooth um, features so you can do quite a bit with Bluetooth HID um, Wi-Fi scanning um, you can also do uh, packet monitoring, um, Wi-Fi sniffing, um, Bluetooth spoofing, and um, some like iPhone spamming things. Um, right here, um, I know some people made a comment um, about the NeoPixel, but I really like them. I'm going to do a, a few more tests with the um, custom firmware I'm making for this. Um, but I do have a party light <coughs> feature that I really love to keep. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the um, awesome NeoPixel. Uh, next up, we have the RC522. And this will be the um, basic uh, RFID cloner. I do have um, a better one. So this is the improved uh, module. Uh, this one can only do my fair classic and I think 13 megahertz, something like that. Uh, but this is a lot more powerful and capable. Um, this is an NFC module, and I'm pretty sure it's the PN532 or something of the sorts. And um, I just haven't been able to um, get it working right with the ESP32. It should be straightforward, so I'm not sure if it's just the um, Chinese manufacturer that's given me a bad one, but I've tried everything I can. If anyone knows, let me know, because this can do NFC and um, MyFair and a, a whole bunch of different um, card protocols. Um, but this is still pretty capable at the moment. It can do um, basic um, key fobs and um, like probably like hotel keys and um, you know, like arcade keys, things like at, with uh, low security. Um, here we have uh, four buttons for the menu. And um, right here we have the GS, uh, GPS uh, module. And that'll be for the war driving and <clears throat> um, allow you to scan Wi-Fi networks and also apply the GPS coordinate. So you get an estimate of where that uh, Wi-Fi network's at. Um, this is the SD card. Uh, so for when you're war, war driving, it'll save um, into the wiggle.net format or whatever format really you want. Um, so you can analyze things later. It also will um, save the packet sniffing data or the Wi-Fi sniffing data or the Wi-Fi scans, <clears throat> the Bluetooth scans. So really you can have this really cheap mobile um, device and be out capturing what you need to, and then you can um, upload the, your SD card to your computer and check out everything uh, later. So this is, um, I have the RTC clock on right now, <clears throat> um, which is another feature. So um, even if you don't have your clock or your watch, um, you can still get the accurate time. Um, but just give you a little sneak peek what the uh, display looks like. Um, but yeah, everything's kind of uh, jam packed and <clears throat> there's gonna be different iterations. Um, this is really the biggest uh, thing, which I, I believe um, on the next PCB design, I'm gonna try and have this 
on like the back of the PCB and try and really um, get this a lot smaller. Like I, for this, I could use like an ESP32 um, C3 Mini and um, really uh, use half about half of the amount of space. And obviously for the NeoPixel, I could get something smaller, uh, maybe even smaller buttons. Um, I would like a little bigger screen, um, but rather than that, you know, that's kind of the full design. And um, I've worked with a electrical engineer and we have um, a really nice PCB design um, that is gonna be open source. Um, so you can get your own uh, board with everything <clears throat> all traced out. Um, so you could just individually um, buy the pieces or I'm gonna have some kits so you could put, put everything together and um, yeah. So that's just um, a little sneak peek and hopefully um, within the next week or so, um, I'm gonna be working with uh, PCB Way to um, create some of these boards and really just go through the trial and error process. Um, but I really think this is gonna be um, something pretty cool and interested you might be into. So stay tuned and uh, I'll keep you updated on this awesome cybersecurity hacker tool. Peace.